Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Member for Courtney Alberni. Mr. Speaker, Canadians are suffi suffering and even dying because getting help for their mental health isn't affordable and wait lists are months or even years long. This week is Mental Illness Awareness Week and mental health organizations are once again calling for this government to recognize there is no health without mental health. During the last election, the Liberals promised to spend $4.5 billion over five years to expand mental health services and address backlogs. They still haven't delivered. So when will the Liberals follow through on their funding promises to improve mental health services for struggling Canadians? The Honourable Minister for Mental Health. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for his question and the ongoing advocacy, particularly in this Mental Illness Awareness Week. Mental health is health, as he said, and our government has made mental health a priority. And since 2015, we've made historic investments to support the $5 billion to the provinces from 20. 2017, $600 million every year still ongoing, almost $600 million for distinctions-based mental health and wellness strategy for Indigenous people. We know that we need to do more and we will do more.